So I've always kind of had this weird history with tellies, and I feel like it is my moral obligation, nay, my civic duty to tell you this story. So here we go. When I was starting out, I never really saw myself as a telly player. And you might be asking yourself, whoa, 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 Mike, explain yourself. Let me explain myself really quickly. Hendrix, Frujanti, SRV, Eric Clapton, Eric Johnson, Eric Andre. Wait, 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 one of those things does not belong. Actually, I do hear that comedian is a very good bass player, but that's another story for another day. To put it all simply, all that was in my field of view, everything that dominated my vision as a guitar player had to do directly with strats. And to be completely honest, even more honest than I was before, I didn't really like the T-style body shape. All it represented to me was country and twanginess, and I was just not about it. So I just moved on with my life. I was like, I'm not a telly player. That was until one specific day where I got a knock on my dorm room from someone in my class who is an absolutely incredible guitar player. He comes in and he says, Mike, you're a John Mayer fan, right? I was like, I might be. Who's asking? He's like, seriously, bro, you're a John Mayer fan. I think you're gonna like this. And he said that at one time, Keith Urban and John Mayer had actually done a live performance together that was, he said, incredible. And I said to him, no, 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 there's no way that is possible. John Mayer would never go with that country dude and those Telecaster players. I don't wanna watch this. He said, sit down, you're gonna watch this. So he sat me down and I started to watch it and I started to notice something. It was absolutely incredible. Like unbelievable. This was some of the best guitar playing that I had ever seen in my life from these two guys. So I kind of went down the Keith Urban rabbit hole and I discovered that that telly guy that I'd heard about who I thought was just this pop weirdo actually had some really melodic licks. <laughs> That one was called Somebody Like You and it really stood out to me and it sort of became this catalyst, right? And I started looking into other telly players and other of my guitar heroes who may have played strats and tellies and it became crystal clear to me at the time, crystal clear that it was time that I got my own telly. So here's where the story gets interesting. I spent over a month, like over a month, just on Facebook Marketplace, on every website you can find, just trying to research tellies and find which one was going to be the absolute perfect one for me. And after 30 days of searching, I decided to do it every strong man does when he gets into a situation where he can't see a way out. I gave up. I gave up like crazy. And you know what? I decided I was going to get a different guitar. I decided I was going to get a PRS. Specifically, I had ordered a used PRS Custom 22 with the dual humbuckers and with the coil split. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is the guitar that I've been looking for. And I got it. And although I had a few shipping problems that I won't get into because they'll make me too upset, it arrived at my door. I opened opened it and I played it and for the next two weeks I was in heaven but then I thought to myself I couldn't shake the nagging feeling that this wasn't it this guitar was great but it was not the telly that I wanted so after two weeks literally two weeks of owning this guitar I decided to put it back up on Facebook marketplace to sell <laughs> It was kind of crazy. After having that guitar up on Facebook Marketplace for a while, I got a couple trade offers as you do on Facebook Marketplace, some of which would say, hey man, I'll give you $200 and a shotgun for your guitar. Yes, that actually happened more than once. And I really got no serious offers. That was until someone ended up Facebook messaging me. And he said, hey Mike, I've been looking for a PRS for a while. I actually have this pink Telly from 357 Custom Guitars. I've had it for a couple years. Would you be willing to trade? And I said to him, whoa, 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 whoa. I've never heard of these 357 Custom Guitars. What's the deal with them? Are they even worth anything? Then I started looking into them and wow, they were some of the coolest custom built guitars I had ever seen. He showed me the pictures. I was ready to go. So I met up with him in a random apartment downtown where he lives. And I brought my guitar, I brought my PRS. He had a really great tube amp. We plugged both of them in and it was like a dream sequence for me. The second I picked up that telly, like the literal second, I felt like a connection like you do with any guitar that really starts to bond with your playing style at the time. I was like, oh my gosh. I sat there probably for 25 minutes while he just looked at me and he was like, wow, this deal's about to go down. And I kept playing it. I kept loving it. I noticed it was a high output guitar. I love the colors and I love the look of the guitar. I liked that it had this relic look and I was ready, man. I was ready to go. So I stood up, I looked him in the eye and I said, no deal. Thank you so much for letting me play this guitar. I'm going to go home. I think in the moment, I just was afraid of being ripped off as you do on Facebook Marketplace, even though I really thought the guitar was awesome. So I went home and I said to myself, I'm just going to wait until this PRS sells and just go along with my life from there. But then as happens with a lot of things, I started to do more and more research on this guitars. And I found out that it was this custom builder from South Carolina. And I even started just Instagram DMing people who would put hashtag 357 custom guitars. And I started being like, hey, do you like your telly? 
telly? Is it really good? Is this manly pink telly really gonna get me cool points wherever I show up? And they were all like, bro, this is one of the best guitars I've ever owned. So as would have it, this guy eventually hit me back and he said, are you sure you don't want to trade? And at that point I was ready and we did the swap. It was the most intense trade that I had done since I had swapped a Bulbasaur for a Squirtle back in the fourth grade. So like I said, once I saw the colorway, I was kind of hooked, but it was really the playability as well as like the fact that this guitar is really high output. It really comes down to dynamics. So I can get a clean tone on this, but if you just push a little bit harder, you can start to get some of that breakup. And I really like that, especially coming out of like a Vox. <laughs> I said I really like the clean tones on this thing and like that it can get a little bit push a little bit break up but I also like that when this thing goes heavy it's got some character you know <laughs> So when we really get down to brass tacks, I've always been an S-style guitar guy and all my favorite players have been S-style guitar guys. But when it comes to guitars that I sort of have this weird sentimental connection with, and I think it's just because it's a guitar that I know whenever I play, this is my thing, this is my pink telly. This is the first guitar that I ever put out a video that did really well on. This is a guitar where like, no matter where I go in this city or anywhere else, I have never run into a person who has ever said, oh my gosh, we have the same guitar. And I've stated this before, just being a strap player, one of the things, the literal only thing I don't like about that perfect guitar model is the bridge pickup. And I think that the bridge pickup of a T-style guitar has a lot more character built within to it. It's one of those things where like, I've really come to not just accept, but embrace sort of the twang of T-style guitars, especially like using it in different contexts, sometimes that don't even make sense, like with ambient music. Like I said, just a relic job done on this, the single coil pick the fact that it looks like really vintage. There's just a feel to this guitar. And I think it's one of those things where I love being a guy that like, you know, kind of finds those off brand steals, you know? It's just one of those weird things where I have this guitar that like, I don't necessarily know that that much about it. Like I've never gotten in contact with the actual builder. I've only gotten secondhand words from people who also own this guitar and I've gotten like to play it myself. I even got to play it at a four hour gig I did last year. But this guitar has kind of become my secret weapon, as you will. My secret weapon and for tone, for feel, and just one of the guitars that I pick up immediately that whether to practice or to riff with. And anyway, I wanna know what's your secret weapon guitar? What is the guitar that you've been going to and that you think, oh, this is really special? Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like if you had any fun. Also subscribe for the turtleneck because it's kind of itchy. <laughs>